What a beautiful morning at Flinders, Victoria. People often ask what Paul and Christy do on their day off. So what do we do on our day off, Christy? We go fishing. That's exactly right. How can you not? How gorgeous is that? It is so amazing. Now, Christy, you grew up on Western Port fishing. I did. One of your favourite fish is? Whiting, King George Whiting, to eat and catch. So today, we're going to hopefully catch some big King George Whiting. We're going to go home and eat them and have a great day. Jet's at school, that sucks a bit, doesn't it? <laughs> Shh, don't tell him we went fishing. You get that on the big jobs. <laughs> best thing about launching at Flinders is the driver doesn't get their toes wet. <laughs> That's why I decided to pick you up. <laughs> So we've literally stopped about 400 metres from Flinders Pier and the game plan here is catch a few calamari for two reasons. One, they make excellent bait. Two, they make excellent dinner. When I was a kid, there was only four colours of squid jigs pretty much. Blue, red, which is also pink, green and orange. Nowadays, the colours are mind-blowing. Have a look at this. This one here actually looks like a King George Whiting. That's an Odori. This one here looks like a Slimy Mackerel. We've got black and white, probably the two best colours, and all sorts of things that just blow my mind. Squid jigs are one of those things you can never have enough, and believe it or not, some days the squid will only take one colour. So make sure you've got a massive armoury of squid jigs, put them in a cool box like this little Safia box, have them all ready to go, they pop in and out, makes your squid nice and simple. Yep. Well played. I saw you do that ridiculously big whip and I thought, I'm going to copy that. Yeah, well, yeah, hello. <laughs> uh, was that because it worked? <laughs> now, uh, would you like to thank me now or later for changing your squid jig? Oh, well, you could have given me a good one in the beginning. No. <laughs> hey, never give a sucker an even break. You still got him on there? Uh, unless he's swimming at 100 knots towards the Oh, back. yeah, no, I think he's still there. No, I think he's just he a is, pup. That's yeah. going to be good. Don't worry, Christy, someone's got to catch the little ones. They're tastier. They are tastier. It's all good. <laughs> now, what we actually did there, we followed the track on the hummingbird back to where we caught the first squid. There you go. That's a nice little squiddy. Uh, and as soon as we got back to the spot, we got the last one, we got this one. So it's really important with your squid, fish the ground where you catch them because they always hang in schools. Just walk it forward a bit. And... Yes! <laughs> Nice work. Winner, winner, squid for dinner. That's it. Now look at the <laughs> colours of these things in that morning light, Christy. It's so pretty. Aren't they sensational? You know why I picked this jig for you? Because sorry. Oh, because it rattles. It rattles. That's squid making a noise. It is. I think it just passed <laughs> a little bit of wind. I think it had a fondue curry for dinner, if that makes sense, <laughs> last night. And look at the colours there. It'll actually change colour so well. I reckon cephalopods are one of the most incredible creatures in the water. It's incredible in just one year these guys reproduce, born, uh, end up to... I'd like to hear the end of your story, <laughs> Christy. Uh, you look after that. I've got a squid on here. Yeah, no worries, mate. Uh, you're in charge. Look at this. I had this sneaky jig oh, in the rod holder out the back. And that's another little sneaky tip. Always leave a jig in the water. And it's so incredible that the squid are obviously a schooling cephalopod. And we're talking about cephalopods, your cuttlefish, your octopus, your squid. Now your squid aren't the smartest tool in the shed, but octopus and cuttlefish, they are incredible. When you see some of the stuff on Nat Geo, I'm ready. Blue... Oh, <laughs> did you get rid of your squid? Yeah. No, oh, it's in the tank? He's gone. Oh, uh, yeah, when you see what some of those cuttlefish and octopus can do, Chris, it's pretty crazy, isn't it? I know. Yeah, that, we've been watching that uh, Blue Planet too, along with the rest of the oh. world. And, uh, wow! How good. And we actually got a shot recently. Now, everyone will have seen those GTs busting out getting the birds. Yes. We got a shot over in uh, Namotu Island. We've actually got a GT launching and hitting the stick bait with his tail. And I thought straight away, oh, I'm going to make a bird lure here. Uh, Christy, mm. we've got a pretty hot squid session here, but we've got a big dilemma because the tide change is coming up in about two hours and I really want to go whiting fishing. Yeah, I'm keen for a fish for, on the line. Well, you should never leave fish to find fish, but do you leave squid to find fish? 
Well, yeah, they're not technically a fish, so that doesn't technically count. Good point. That's a big squid. It's the monster. I didn't know Westerport produced giant squid, Christy. Bring him to me. You ready, Hunt? I'm ready. Yeah, he's just pinned. He's got a lot of ink and he's a monster squid. You get him in the net. Hang on. You right? I've got him. Oh, look at that ink. Yep, point him that way. Now, I'm going to take the jig out there because this is going to be, this is so big, Christy. I'm going to have to help you lift the net in the boat, okay? <laughs> Now I've got the jig out, that'll, that'll help lighten the oh, load a little bit. Oh yes, keep going. Look, Look how much that. ink he has. Now, Hang on, I think I need to wash Do you know why they blow the ink, Christy? Oh, I would dare say that when the predator comes in and then he blows the ink, it confuses the predator. It sure and he does. goes after the ink. Correct, and he's like, oh my God, it's a big smoke shield. Now, lift the monster. Hang on a second, I'll help you. Ready, go. One, two, three. Oh, here are. <laughs> okay, let me get down in here. Oh, that is a, no, that's not a squid. That's a donkey. <laughs> now, if I lay that squid there, you can see just how big these flaps are. Now, this is, an, uh, this is a calamari squid. Now, the calamari, Chrissy, obviously the flaps run all the way down the body. Mm -hmm. With an arrow squid, this is southern calamari, with an arrow squid, you literally just get these two little arrow-type yeah. points at the end. The calamari definitely tastes better. Generally, this is a squid that's found in sort of one to 10 metres of water, even though you will get them offshore, whereas your arrow squid tend to come from deep water. They've got 10 tentacles, eight standard tentacles and these two long ones that he's hiding in here somewhere. There is candles and they're the ones that actually shoot out and grab the prey and then drag it back in. So these guys here can have a feed. And in the tank she goes. Oh, there you go mate. Gold. We're just on the way to our whiting spot and we've seen some salmon busting up so we're going to have a crack at those first. I thought I'd better join my wife up the front for a fish. Just let that one sink down a bit. How's, oh, yep, I'm on. <laughs> now, the birds told us where these fish were, so I literally just ran over, waited for them to drift towards us. Oh, yep, yeah, I'm on. Got him on? <laughs> Double hookup, baby. Now, oh. I have to say, I'm sporting a bit of an ankle injury, so when I'm wandering around on this, like a cripple in the swell. <laughs> Honey, you're not a cripple, but how did you actually hurt your ankle? Well, do you want the uh, long oh. version or the short version? Uh, I'll give you the short version, the fish is nearly here. Uh, escaping a fire, I fell down the fire escape. But we lived, didn't we? We did, so not going to complain about that. That's all good. Now we've got a nice salmon here, Dale. Oh, you have too. And there's actually fish following up. What do you got? I have no idea. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm guessing another salmon. They do swim in schools. Australian salmon, Arapus trutter. Look at that for a beautiful fish in that morning light. And I hope the light is all right to see him. They, oh, oh, there's man, fish they're everywhere. Going everywhere. There are fish everywhere. Um, I'm going to get this fish back in the live tank, Chrissy, because these things make okay. excellent bait. And in my smoker, yum, yum, yum. Okay, let's get this guy in and off so I can get back on the action. How much fun is that? <laughs> Interesting fact, in the 2016 census, Flinders had a population of just 905 people. Now I reckon we're a fair chance here, Dale. Give it a big shot. Straight ahead. That's right over the top. There are fish everywhere, Dale. Gotcha. This is ridiculous. There are literally thousands of fish. Thousands How and thousands. Cool is that? They're under the boat, they're everywhere. This is a solid one too. And these Australian salmon are oh, such yes. Got him on? Got him on. These Australian <laughs> salmon are such epic fish. And when the mums at school say, what do you do on your day off, Christy? Do, they, do you reckon they get that fishing can be this cool? Yeah, I couldn't make morning coffee today. <laughs> <laughs> is that because you were fishing or you don't drink coffee? <laughs> Both. <laughs> and these squid rods make very good salmon rods, don't oh, they? They're great fun. Look at them busted up Oh, everywhere. this is crazy. This is off its chops. Now, you do realise we're trying to go whiting fishing here. Yeah, I know. We'll get there. Is it, does it matter if we just keep doing this? We're just taking a few little breaks on the way. Oh, you can't drive past this. Like, seriously, yeah. there'll be tourists from around the world up at the Nobbies there putting their, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> putting, their, putting their 20 cents in the binoculars and I'll be going, oh, what's going on out there? <laughs> oh, wow, that's so good fun. There's only going to be one major problem. What's that, darling? If Jet sees how much fun we had today. Yeah, how are we going to get into school tomorrow? <laughs> He's not going to want to go to school. Now, People ask all the time, probably the most common question we get asked is, does Jet actually go to school yeah. or is he homeschooled? What's the deal here? 
Yes. I do know the answer, by the way, but what's the deal? <laughs> yes, Jetty goes to school. He goes to an awesome little local school who are very supportive of the one week A term we take him out for fishing. And every other time you see him fishing, it's after school, on the weekend, or school holidays. But kids do get a lot of school holidays, mate. We might go to the other side and go around. Yeah, man, I want to be a kid again. Unless Five weeks I've, school holiday. I've got a big fish on here, and I think you have too. Yeah. Let's just watch our lines aren't crossing. Can I come under you? Let, yeah. Come around that way. They're big fish. Oh, we've got a problem. Who gets priority? <laughs> Me, of course. Look at this salmon coming from the water here. That is a serious Australian salmon. And I've got about eight pound fluorocarbon here because this was my squid rod. So I'm going to have to be very careful. You right, Dale? I'm all good. I'm having fun. That's what it's all about. As long as you're having fun. I always say for me, the best fun I can ever have standing up is when I've got to bend in my rod. <laughs> Look at that for a fish. That's a big salmon. This thing is big. <laughs> and I went to Big Rapala, the x rat because I wanted to find a big fish in the school. And I think that's worked. I'm so worried about my leader here. That is a big fish, and I'm using an iFish Shimano 761 medium squid rod, believe it or not. Got the new Sustain 2500 HG and a bit of four pound fins braid. And that is nothing but Australian salmon in net. That is a stonker fish. <laughs> Gotta show you this cracker while Christy's. Uh, oh, there he is. He's, I'm gonna get rid of this fish and show you, but look at that for a massive fish. These things have incredible fast twitch fibres, the red meat down the lateral line there. They pull hard, they dance, epic sport fish. Got to look after Australian salmon. Okay, come on, Decky. I'm coming. Oh, look at the, look at the bait in the water. I know. You just call me a Decky? <laughs> You've called me a lot of horrible things over the years, huh? But Decky? I've met some awesome Deckies in my time. Well, I'm not your Decky, I'm it's your, about time I'm your soul mate. Normally they get their top off. Oh well, you play your cards, right? Look how good That's that a is. big fish. No, oh, holy crap. Yes, baby. That is. <laughs> Why did you have to catch one bigger than me? Seriously? Oh, uh, yeah, you can have the big squid. Oh, I'll that... take the big squid. Christy, my love is. Oh, my. Yes! How good is that? Christy, seriously, that <laughs> is a monster. Why do you always have to outdo me? I don't always outdo you, but it's fun when I do. <laughs> uh, seriously, have you ever seen that many big salmon in the entrance to Western Port? Not in Western Port, in that, in one school doing just, like, we even, normally they go down. Actually, you, you listen, you I can, can actually hear them smashing the surf. Yeah. They're all around the boat. It's pretty, we're gonna, pretty special. We're going to put this fish back. Why? And then, well, because we've got plenty of other fish to catch. <laughs> and if we finally get around it, Christy, can we go and catch a King George Whiting? Sure can. Love it. This is absolutely amazing. So Christy, on the count of three, one, two, three. And away they go. <laughs> now, whiting or more salmon, please? Well, there's still salmon up, so maybe we stay with that for a little bit. How much longer have we got for the tide? <laughs> Forget the tide. Dan is picking Jet up from school. Winning. It's Parents Day! <laughs> on January 4, 1798, George Bass discovered what he thought at the time to be Victoria's most western port. Later they discovered Port Phillip Bay. George, you were wrong, but it still bears the name. Just pushing into a secluded little bay. The weather is absolutely mint. Fingers crossed, the whiting play the game. So we've got the Sea Dog Burley Pot here, munched up pilchards, bit of ab gut, bit of scallop gut over the side. That will bring our fish in. Bye bye. I've just seen a gummy shark free swimming around near our Burley Pot, so we've cut up a bit of the fresh salmon we've just caught. I'm going to get it in there quick and hopefully he'll like this more than the Burley Pot. He's coming around. I can see a gummy shark coming. Do, now, you, want, do you want, like, see my bait? Yeah, drop it down. Oh, drop, 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 yeah. drop it down a little bit. Just a little bit so we can find it. This is on the burly bucket now. We might have to go to a pilchard because he's only about six kilos, I reckon. That's it. You want to get it on this sand here if you can. Now, here, see if he comes around. See if he comes. That is amazing. I've never seen anything like this in my life. He's there, free... he's there. He's coming back. He's coming back. Okay, when he eats it, Dale, just yeah. do not. Do he's, not coming. he's coming. He's looking. Do not set the hooks. He's going to turn around again and hopefully eat it. It's a bit buried here, in the he's, he's, oh yeah, yeah, I know. We want to try and get on this sand hole. Let's just see how we go. Oh yeah, we've got a fish. Oh, it was a big fish too. It is all happening. Oh, I love this. 
How is that for the most beautiful piece of winding bait? That's a squid candle, one of the long tentacles that I cut into a short piece. You've got the VMC long shank bait holder interwoven through it, small bead fluorocarbon. Seriously, bait presentation is key. That is gonna get snapped. This could be the one, I'm gonna get the net. Oh, this might be a good time for me not to sort of perch myself up here. <laughs> uh, well, look, look, you're looking elegant, honey. You just sit there and relax and I'll do my best to come in. Oh, it's a big whiting. Oh, shivers, let's get down. <laughs> Whoa! It's <laughs> a big whiting, Chrissy. Okay. Now come I'm, around this way. I'm coming backwards. That's a I'm big fish. I'm coming backwards. Just I'm keep, Whoa. Oh, just take your time, keep sliding. That's a big fish, Dale. You're a pretty casual about all that. I was just sitting enjoying my... <laughs> oh my. Come here, darling. Yeah, you party. deserve a hug. You deserve a... That is not a whiting, Christy. That's you can what actually... we call a horse. You can actually ride this thing in the Melbourne Cup. Now, they Don't call... you lose my whiting. They're slippery suckers. Would I do that to you, Dale? Yeah. Now, this is a big fish. Look at that for a King George whiting. Yeah. That's well over 40. And anywhere in the world, that is a world-class King George. That certainly is. And that is going to fry up just nice for me tonight. Because you think people might look at our waistlines and think, <laughs> is that Mr. <laughs> and Mrs. Fryer Tuck? Okay, it's all about the food, people. Fishing and food. Fishing and food, I'm hearing you. That is a crack. And it just goes to show you, keep working through those other fish. Your target species will come along. The day is still young. Oh, that's why I call them kidney slap, because that tail gives you a big fat beat. Well done, my love. Thank you. You're a star. So just to fill you in on the situation, we made a short move. Burley's gone down the front now. We are literally getting that many bites, bitten off, bust off, losing fish that we cannot keep rods in the water. We've just got three rods in ready to go. Christy just got smoked by something else. This is a hot session. I love this so much. Probably one of my favorite forms of fishing. Come on, fish. Eat, eat, eat. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Well, hello, hello, Mr. Worsterley. That is ridiculous. Welcome to the party. That is ridiculous <laughs> for a bite. <laughs> I feel like I feel like I'm on a jackhammer. Oh, how's the line? This thing's taken, and that I actually got a little tap, and I didn't pick it up because every time I pick it up, you're sort of you're sort of pulling it away from the fish. So I just left it there, and this thing just came through and went whack. It's sort of like snapper fishing. You literally sit there, you wait for the bite. They come along every five or ten minutes. Now, have we got a whiting or trevally here? I'd say a trevally probably. Oh, it's a little snapper. I look at it. Snapper? It looks like a little snapper. You want the nets? Uh, no, I don't need the net. On this gear, it's actually going very hard. I tell you, actually, what has the species? What species number is that today? Now, you know what this is, Christy? This isn't just any snapper. You know what that is? Uh, a pinky snapper? That is a pensioner pinky. Because <laughs> in Victoria, that is over legal size. And my dad now, Huntsy Cronje Worsling, is 80 years of age, and he will take the falters out and wrap his gums around this and literally suck every bit of snapper off the bone. Dad, happy birthday. You're a legend. This one's for you. Oh, there's some weight here. Oh, I cannot get a rod back in the water, Pippi. Christy. Oh, just get a pippy, eh, Adele? And some bait, bye. I cannot get a rod back in the water. I'm re-rigging, re-tying. And every time, look at this, there is not, wow, there's one rod, sorry, in the water. It's got a lot of weird head shakes. This could be a King George whiting, baby. Oh, what'd you say? It's a King George. Do you need the net? Ah, uh, yeah, I do, please, my love. How's well, that? Well, it just so happens I have one here that I prepared earlier. You've got our little friend Annette. There you go. That's a solid whiting. Not, not as big as yours, unfortunately. Oi! Thank you for coming. Nothing but net. Christy, can you remember a bite like this on a day off for a long time? Not for a long time, but Western Port's pretty good. I've had some pretty hot whiting sessions out here. We have, and that is another beautiful King George whiting. Look oh, at those excellent. spots on the side there. And you just see that long shank VMC hook. The reason you're using the long shank hooks is because King George whiting are actually bottom feeders. See how the top jaw overhangs the bottom? They literally go along feeding like that. So with that long shank hook, it's very, very easy for to suck it in and get that good penetration. I'm happy. I'm happy too. Let's get some more rods in the water. That's okay. So tonight, do you thinking uh, we do a bit of fryer tuck or just pop past KFC on the way home? <laughs> fryer tuck. You're swimming upstream, a lot of kicking. Oh, I reckon we might have a watching here. I just saw a lot of jumping around, Christy. It is my good friend, the Wai Ching. Oh, do you want the net? No, nah, you know what? You're gonna lift. I'm gonna lift and pray. Oh, you can lift, oh, you can lift. 
Lift yeah, and pray. Yeah, that's a nice fish, Paul. That is a cracker. And interesting too, the bite went a bit quiet. It did. I let 20 metres of anchor rope out, and straight away, we're under a new school of fish. I can taste them already. Just enough time to make a cup of tea. Mm. Oh, kappa. I love coffee, thanks. White with none. <laughs> Whatever this is, Christy, it is big. I've just hooked something massive on a squid jig. Now, we had a squid come up before, and it was chasing that, what was it, that? Puffer fish. Oh, it was a puffer fish, yeah. So I put an It was random, it was coming, it was full like stealth mode, wasn't it? I put an Adorius squid jig down on a Paternoster, and this rod just buckled over like it was stuck on the bottom. What have we got here? It's big, I reckon we might have a cuttlefish or something. Or a rock. It's one of the two. Oh, these things, I think it is. These things fight hard, check that out. <laughs> that is gold. Christy Worsling, I've got a question for you. You are a star, but how are you gonna cook this? What would you do? What I'm would you recommend? Definitely not sharing it, that's for sure. I've caught some pretty good things in my day, honey. Oh, oh my toe! <laughs> but that rocks! Interesting fact, Western Port has a total surface area of 680 square kilometres. 270 square kilometres of that turns to mudflats at low tide. That is a big fish, darling. I can another snapper. Cool. You right? Yeah. I love catching these sort of fish on this light gear. It's so isn't, much fun. Isn't it a hot session? I'm getting the net for you, Dar. Oh, it's just back here. <laughs> I'll, I'll just come over here and get the net. You know why I couldn't find it, Chrissy? Why is that? I had a man's look. It was where you left it last. <laughs> In the net spot? If this is a whiting, darling, please be a whiting. I'm saying Ooh, it's either a whiting, a pinky snapper, a salmon, a trevally, a flathead, <laughs> a gummy shark, a blue male, a swordfish, one of them. Now it's, it's um, going to be a leather jacket. <laughs> if it's a white, it's not, I don't know, it's too heavy for a white, I reckon. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> um, if it's a white in Christie, get the IGFA record book out, or as my other cameraman spell, I would say the IGA record. I think he's got a record because he bought too many tomatoes or something in one go. Um, could this be a little gummy shark, maybe? That would be cool. Oh. oh. That would have been cool. That would have been cool. As in past tense. Ooh. Yep, he took your hook. Oh, come on. You can do it. Yeah, woo, hold on. This is huge. Now, please be a wide. Look at the way it's swimming into the tide. How's those head shakes when it took it, Christy? You just hang on and ride that, cowboy. Uh, it ain't a whiting, but I would like to see what it is because that was a huge take. It is just it went... like what I've been getting? Or... No, because no, see, this has got head shakes. Yeah. Whereas the other fish we've been catching, you've seen to have been just screaming off. Yeah. This feels more like a, I'm going to say a draft board shark or something, I reckon. Oh, just it's got head shakes. It's got head shakes. Just a random draft board shark. Well, you know what? If you want to know more about fish species, could you just read my book, Paul Westing's uh, Fishing Western Port. I actually wrote that book, huh? I forgot. Oh, if I have trouble sleeping, I'll make sure to buy it. <laughs> oh, 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 you know what? Just get a knife. Knife me in the heart. I'm coming around. You never have trouble. Well, actually, she always has trouble sleeping because I'm in the bed. Now, I might need to move your yeah. life, me, hun. I'll go under. This guy's doing laps of the boat. And how good is it when you're hooking monster fish whilst you're fishing for little fish? It's awesome. It's I'm loving the variety where we're in, not just getting the one species and you just don't know what it's going to be. I think we're up to, we counted before, 10 species today already. It's a, I think it's a gummy it's, shark. It's a gummy. Oh, hang on, I'll get the net. Oh, no! Oh, heat, do you know? I reckon that little monkey's got four both hooks. Of us. Yeah. That was a gummy shark about that long on a whiting rod. New mission. Yes, catch the gummy. Right. I think we put a heavier rod out. Yeah, and then we and then, and then we won't catch a gummy shark. <laughs> I just want one gummy shark, people. Just one. You just never want to assume anything in these waters and go too hard and break a fish off because it really could be something of quality. Oh, so I've got those head shakes there, which makes me think it could be okay. See those big tail kicks? That's really weird. And it's coming up, which is the good thing. I'm actually winning a little bit. We should see this any second if it doesn't go nuts. Christy's trying to make a curried egg sandwich at the front. And this is long. It's a gummy shark. Grab the net. Oh, I'm coming. This is the fish that has been busting us off all day. That is, Woo! oh, that is beautiful. Look at that, Christy. What a I'm beautiful a fish. I was making a sanger. Now just take our time okay. here. I'm going to just lead just his head lead around. His head straight, straight into, into the net. net. Straight in. Straight into Mama. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! 
Christy, how many times have we hooked a gummy shark and lost it today? I reckon at least five. Well, Christy, seriously, that's the gummy shark you want to eat, isn't it? That is perfectly sized for nice bite-sized flake bits. <laughs> Stop it. A lot of people around the country don't like sharks, but I'm telling you, gummy sharks, OMG. Christy, what a day. Do you reckon we should go get Jetty? I think I can hear the bell. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Time? <laughs> Time for school pickup. What a day. King George Whiting, squid, gummy shark. We are going to feast tonight. If you ever wondered what we do on our day off, well, this is it. Calm down, dude. Calm down. Excuse me?